If you are looking to play a 1080p resolution and you want a new graphics card, you might be wondering which one is the best one for you. Is it from AMD? Is it from Nvidia? Or maybe is it from Intel? Well, in this video, I'm going to be comparing all of these GPUs on a budget for 1080p resolution. So if you have between $180 all the way up to $350 to spend on a new GPU for 1080p resolution, this video is going to be for you. All the links to these GPUs and more will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. So let's find out whether AMD or Nvidia is better if you are working on a budget for 1080p resolution. First, let's talk about the AMD options. Here you have the RX 6600 if you want to work on a very tight budget going for $185. Then you also have a GPU from Intel in the Intel Arc A750 going for $210, so around the same price range. And then from Nvidia, you have the RTX 3050 and you have two versions. You have the six gigabyte version, which is six gigs of VRAM and it's going for $180. And you have the eight gigabyte version, which is going for $230. Bucks. So quite more expensive than the six gigabyte version. And if we go to Tech Power Up, which is a very good tool that I recommend everyone using, if we search for the RX 6600, for example, here we see the percentages, meaning that if you see, for example, the Intel Arc A750 that I mentioned, is about 10% faster in terms of rasterized performance on average. Now, this is not the most accurate test out there because it's 10% faster in gaming in general, meaning that maybe in your favorite game is not 10% faster, maybe it's even slower. Lower, so it really depends on the games that you play. So I highly recommend you searching for tests from TechSpot, which I will do right now. But before doing that, I want to give you a general recommendation. And the RX 6600, as you can see, is at a hundred percent, and the Intel Arc A750 is about 10% faster on average. But the drivers are not very well optimized. They've gotten much better in the past few years, but it's more expensive. And honestly, at this price point, I would consider another GPU that is a bit more expensive and you make sure that the drivers work fine. I will talk about that GPU later. So Intel, I wouldn't recommend you buying if you are a consumer and I would love to recommend them because it's another company competing in the market. But at this moment, unless you are a PC enthusiast, I wouldn't recommend you buying a GPU from Intel. So we have two GPU left, the 6600 and the RTX 3050, both the 8 gigabyte version and the 6 gigabyte one. So as you can see, the RX 6600 is at hundred percent. And if we scroll up, we see first the RTX 3050 8 gigabyte version at 80%, meaning that it's 20% slower in terms of gaming performance on average and then at this test you cannot see the rtx 3056 gigabyte so i will search it and here we have it the 3056 gigabyte version is about 34 percent slower than the 8 gigabyte version and 70 percent slower than the rx 6600 and the price for that one is 180 dollars for the cheapest one and remember that the 6600 is going for 185 dollars so five dollars more for around 70 percent faster gaming performance that's incredible i would never recommend you getting an nvidia gpu at this price point because the price to performance is terrible and even the 3060 8 gigabyte version is going for around 30 to 40 extra dollars at 220 dollars for the cheapest model and you are getting a slower performance about 20 percent slower than the rx 66 so if you are on a budget and you're looking to spend around 200 dollars on a gpu highly recommend you getting the rx 6600. For instance, if we go to TechSpot and we go to their 15 game average at 1080p, this is one of the latest tests from TechSpot and that's why I am putting this one. We see here the RX 6600 with an average of over 70 FPS and this is a test that was made on ultra settings on high demanding titles. If we scroll up, you can see games that are very high demanding. For example, The Last of Us Part 1, games like Howard's Legacy. So for the most part, you are going to get even more than 70 FPS on average and here you can also see specific games in case you want to take a look and see whether the 6600 or the RTX 3050 is better. Even though the 3050 is not in this test, you can search RX 6600 benchmarks or RTX 3050 8 gigabyte benchmarks and you will see an older test with different games but you can still see the performance difference. So at this price point the RX 6600 is my winner in terms of price or performance. I would only get the 3050 8 gigabyte version if you are a content creator on a budget and your favorite programs work better with Nvidia. In that case the 3050 might make sense but otherwise for gaming it doesn't make any sense. And then for a little bit more you can get the RX 6650 XT 
went for 240 dollars and if we go to tech power up again and we search for the 6650 xt we see that it's about 35 percent faster on average than the rtx 3050 for 20 dollars more so the 6650 xt is another option that is very solid and on this 15 game average you can see here around 85 fps on average which is about 15 fps more on average at 1080p on high to ultra settings very good price to performance gpu and for around the same price you can get the rx 7600 which is basically the same as the 6650 xt but you get av1 encoding here so if you want to do streaming and you want a very nice streaming quality then you're looking to spend around 20 dollars for this gpu but it's essentially the 6650 xt with that av1 encoding and nothing more and then from nvidia at around this price point you can get the rtx 4060 going for 285 dollars or the rtx 3060 which is one generation older going for 300 dollars so a bit more expensive right now actually but it has 12 gigs of vram if we go to take power up once again you can see the rtx 3060 here and the rtx 4060 is about 18 percent faster which is not a lot but again if you want the best performance gpu the rtx 4060 will give you faster performance and i would only consider the rtx 3060 if you are going to be using programs or playing games that require more than 8 gigs of vram otherwise the rtx 4060 is going to be the better option and that's only if you must have nvidia because your workloads require a better nvidia gpu but keep in mind that the rtx 4060 is very similar in performance to the rx 6650 xt in fact a 1% difference if we take a look at tech power up and if we go to tech spot on the 15 game average at 1080p the 4060 was able to average 91 fps and the 6650 xt 85 so very similar in terms of performance and you are saving around 40 bucks if you go with the 6650 xt but if you are on this price range let's say you are willing to spend 300 dollars you can also get the rx 6700 xt for 330 so only 30 dollars more honestly this is not a big price difference if you are willing to spend around 300 bucks and what do you get with the 6700 xt amazing gaming performance you get faster performance than the rtx 4060 in fact about 12 fps more on average than the 4060 which as you can see here is a 12% faster gaming performance on average and not only that but you also get 12 gigs of VRAM in the 6700 XT which is going to be helpful at 1440p resolution so maybe even if you play 1080p right now you may want to upgrade to 1440p down the line or maybe you want to play very high demanding AAA titles down the line at 1080p that may require more than 8 gigs of VRAM so the 6700 XT in my opinion is the best price to performance GPU on a budget level that you can get for 1080p and 1440p resolution. And simply because it's faster in terms of performance, it's going to age better because of the VRAM. And at this price point, you don't want to factor in NVIDIA technologies such as a better level of ray tracing because you don't want to play with ray tracing on at this tier and also DLSS you do not want to turn upscaler on at 1080p you may want to turn it on at 1440p depending on the game but even then I believe the 6700 XT is the better option for the price than the RTX 4060 unless once again your favorite programs or your favorite games work better with Nvidia and also at around the same price you can consider the 7600 XT which is a new GPU from Nvidia going for 320 bucks and this one at 1080p was able to average 95 FPS so slightly slower than the 6700 XT very similar to the RTX 4060 around 3% faster than the 4060 and you get 16 gigs of VRAM which is plenty of VRAM even for 4k resolution but I do not recommend you using this GPU for 4k gaming I would recommend it for 1080p or 1440p and then it's also $10 cheaper than the 6700 XT and you get AV1 encoding which is going to be helpful for streaming so I would recommend you buying the 7600 XT if you are going to do streaming and you want a better streaming quality. Otherwise, if we are talking about pure gaming performance, the 6700 XT is the better option because you're only spending $10 more and you are getting about 10% faster performance. So there's that. In conclusion, it really depends on the games that you play and the budget level. But in terms of price to performance, AMD is the winner right now in the market. In my opinion, of course, you can have a different opinion. You may think that Nvidia is better at this price point. I do not think so because the best technologies from Nvidia work better in higher end tiers so of course if you have more money then nvidia becomes more relevant but on a budget level i would recommend amd honestly because you get more fps at a cheaper price but very important for you to figure out whether your favorite game or your favorite program works better with nvidia or amd 
because it's all about your gaming PC and if you're going to play for example Fortnite which works better for Nvidia you do not want to get a GPU from AMD. But let me know what you think in the comment section. I highly recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds for every budget and every resolution if you want the best price to performance in entire PC build because it's very easy to bottleneck one of these GPUs and in that case you will have a very bad gaming experience and trust me if you want a new gaming PC you want to have the best experience possible. You will have that video in the top right of the screen. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.